And just adults, if you can just check that um, the area is safe for the children to move around in. Uh, a mat or a towel uh, would be good so that they've got their own space. Good, lovely. So, um, thank you to those of you for joining me. Um, really exciting to be doing a live uh, kids yoga session for Better Together Dorset. Um, if you haven't seen the other classes on, please have a look because the teachers and instructors are so talented um, and we're, we've all collaborated together to bring you some well some exercises to help your well-being some classes there's so much on um i did neil's hit yesterday afternoon at one that was awesome and lorna's yoga on friday mornings as well and zoe's i've been doing loads um so yeah take full advantage so i thought it's best to take care of the children too because it's a stressful time for everybody and yoga is a really really lovely way to take care of the inside. So children, if you come to a comfortable seated position now on your bottoms, and we're just going to put our hands on our sides and we're gonna lift our bottom off the mat a little bit and then drop it back down. So lift your bottom up, hover, hover, hover. Some of us older ones especially might be able to bring your feet off as well and sit it back down, lovely. And then just give yourself a bit of a jiggle Good. And now we're going to imagine we're a big mountain. So sitting on your bottoms with your knees out wide. And then we want to have a really nice tall back so that we're like our mountain, our triangle shape with our body. So if we get our piece of string above our head, breathe in and pull up. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Maybe look up at your hand. And then we're going to open our mouth, let go of the string and let the head fall. Breathe out. Breathe in, pull up, tightly, 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 and breathe out and drop. <sighs> breathe in, come up one more time, stretch up. Stretch the other arm up too, and tie the piece of string around an imaginary hook. Now open the hands, breathe in, hold them in tightly, breathe in, and open the hands and breathe out, huff and puff. <sighs> Breathe in, lift the arms up and close the fists. Breathe out and open. Good. And just bring our hands back to our knees. So we're sitting up really nice and tall. Okay, we're going to do a similar breath to what we've just done, but we're going to do our happy breath. So it's our happy sigh. So smiling makes us feel really, really good. And anyone that you see that sees you smiling also will feel warm inside too. And we want to spread the happiness at the moment. So we're going to breathe in deeply and hold the breath. And then we're going to smile to ourselves and we're going to do a deep sigh out, making a noise. <sighs> Dropping the shoulders, lovely. Breathe in, smile, and sigh out. Good, lovely. Take your hands, rub your hands together. Rub, 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 make them really, really warm. And then we're going to breathe into our hands. So breathe in, and breathe out. Feel the warmth, rub again. Rub, 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 take your hands up. And bring them down, breathe in, and we blow. Good. Now we've got a really special breath that I learned from one of my teachers, which is really, really lovely. So we're going to clench the fists again, pull the shoulders up, scrunch in your face, maybe take your knees up, breathe in and think of something that you don't want to have in your head anymore. Breathe in and think of something, maybe it's something you're sad about or angry. And we're going to breathe out, lift the hands up and make a wah noise. So Ali will just show you. Breathing in. And you can stick your tongue out too. Good. Breathe in. Tense, 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 tense. And breathe out. Good. I'm hoping I'm still here. My signal's been really funny today. 
can anyone emoji just to say if they're still here? Oh dear, I'm hoping I'm still here. Good, okay, so from here, let's take the shoulders backwards. And take the shoulders forwards. Good. And then bring the shoulders up by the ears. Breathe in. I'm just going on Facebook because I'm not sure if anyone is here or not. And breathe out. Drop the shoulders down. <sighs> breathe in. Drop. Bring the shoulders up. <sighs> breathe out. Drop the shoulders down. <sighs> Amazing. Well done, everybody. Okay, we're going to come to close our eyes now so just closing your eyes breathe in and take a deep breath out <sighs> sorry I think I left my signal a little bit just then sorry everybody let's do our wow breath again breathe in tense in clench 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 and open the arms stick the tongue out and breathe out <sighs> one more breathe in and stick the tongue out breathe out <sighs> Good, well done, really nice. Okay, that's enough of breathing. We're gonna come up to do our song now. So, when we are ready, we're gonna come up and do some dancing. So stand, stand up, everybody. Standing up, let's get moving. Ready, start by walking on the hands, on, walking on the spot. Good. High knees, stand still, arms by the sides. Breathe in, reach up, breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in, bring the arms up. And breathe out, bring the arms down. Good, take the legs wide. Start to bend the knees and lift up. Down, up. Let's breathe with it. Breathe in, come down. Good, breathe out, come down. Up, breathe in. Down, breathe in. Good, walk on the spot. Good, turn to the side. Back to the front towards the me at the camera and the other way. Good. Stop here. This time we're going to lift our knee up and the other knee. So really high knees. We're just getting everything going, um, pumping the body forwards. Good. And the side. Good. Take the fit legs wide. Breathe in. Take the arms up. Breathe out this time, bend the knees, breathe out. <sighs> Bit like our frog pose, little ones. Breathe in, come up. And breathe out, come down. <sighs> One more, breathe in. Breathe out, come down. <sighs> Good, stay down here. Ready, we're gonna do some frog jumps now. So you ready to jump? One, two, three, jump. And again, jump. Good, well and again, amazing, keep going, amazing, one more, and stand up here, ready, we're going to fly this time, so take the leg back, flap the wings, good, and try the other leg, good, come back to centre, back to the front, Good, this time we're gonna balance. So take the knee up in front of you. Hold the knee or have the hands up. Good. Put the foot back down. Breathe in, take the leg up. And down, good. This time let's come up onto tiptoes. Lift up, down. Arms can come up too. Down. Good, up and down. Good, let's walk on the spot, ready? Walking, walking feet. Turn to the side. You can go up and down your mat as well if you want to. You can walk up and down your mat. Going backwards as well. Good, lift your arms up. Reach forward and then touch your toes. Stay looking at your toes and then move your knees. Good, lift up. Good, amazing. Now, I know a lot of you know our Wake Up and Wiggle song, so I'm going to turn it up. Ready for Wake Up and Wiggle. Ready? So standing straight, lift your arms up and wriggle. Do your sun 
sunshine arms. Amazing. Lift up and wriggle. Point to your watch. <clears throat> Good. Arm up over your head. And the other one. Turn around in a circle. Ready? Lift up and wriggle. Good. I'm not sure who's online. Isla, are you here today? Lift up and down. Crouch low. Good. Amazing. Let's go side to side. And wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. Thanks, Patricia. Ready? Let's jump. Wriggle. Do your sunshine arms. Oh, that's giving me a massive lift. Thank you, Patricia. Lift up. We'll jump. Wriggle. Point to your watches. This time, rainbow. Hands together, go up and over. Spin around. Bend those knees if you're jumping. Wriggle. Good. Hopefully, we get nice and warm now. Come and sit on your bottoms and spin around in a circle. Sitting at how we started. Take a nice deep breath in. And blow out. <sighs> up we get. Let's do our last jumps today. Wriggle. Sunshine. Jumping. Wriggle. Point to your watches. Arm up over your head. And the other one. Spinning round. Biggest jump, last one. Good. Right now, we're going to come and sit on our feet. So on your knees, put your hands over your eyes. Breathe in. And breathe out. One more breath in. Deep breath. And breathe out. Take your hands away. Well done. Give yourself a clap. High five. Well done. Thumbs up, everybody. Awesome stuff. Okay, so we're going to play a little game now. We sometimes do our alphabet game, we sometimes do numbers. Today we're doing body parts. So if Ali says, well actually, Milo's here. Some of you have seen Milo before. He's my friend who comes to a lot of my kids yoga with me. He loves playing the game too. So, Milo, are you going to do the body part today? Okay, go on then. Bottom? Oh, okay. So the first one, we need to sit on our bottom. That's really easy. You could make it harder though. I've got an idea. If you want something a bit more tricky, why don't you try boat pose, balancing on your bottom with your feet off the floor. Have a little go. So you could just sit how we were, or you could balance on your bottom. So don't have your hands on the floor or your feet. Sit up nice and straight. Maybe straightening the legs, some of us. Good. Amazing. And our yoga poses, we hold for five. Okay, when we come back to centre, come and sit how we started. Good, sitting up nice and tall. Milo, next part, body part is... Some of us are thinking of our head, shoulders, knees and toes now, aren't we? Good. Okay, this time... Ooh, back. Here's an idea for you. Can you lie on your back? Here is a yoga pose of us lying on our back. This one is called Happy Baby. Ali's going to show you, but if you've got your own idea, you can do that too. So lying on, the, on your back, head on the floor. And then I bring my knees into my chest and put my knees out to the side. Now I put my arms through in between my legs. Reach, reach, reach. And grab the outside of my feet. And then I lie my head back down and my legs go out to the side. So my knees are bent and my tops and bottoms of my feet are reaching up to the ceiling. And then we can just hang here. You can rock as well. This is happy baby. Good, bring your knees together. Hands behind the knees, let's rock and roll. Most of us who know me already, we do our rock and roll. Maybe you saw it, we did it in family over on Saturday. Up we come. Oh, we're on Thursday last week. Amazing. Really nice way to get up. Okay, next one. Oh, foot. Okay, so, ooh, if you're just doing one foot, that would be a balance. 
I know some of you will be coming to tree pose if you know your yoga already. I'm going to have a go at this one. This is tricky. This is our flying bird or aeroplane. So, ooh, we need to be really careful with our balances. Look around you, make sure it's okay and safe. Then we use well, one leg is our strong leg that's going to stay still. Hands by your heart. And then I lift my back leg up a bit. And I look down at the floor, but I'm not going to reach down to the floor with my head. I keep straight. And then maybe take your arms out wide like a bird. So you can come up. And we want to be as calm and focused. Concentrate on what you're doing. Come back to the beginning. And then we do the other leg. So now switch on to the different leg. So standing. Take that foot back to where you can. You can also just have your arms out and just have your big toe on the floor. So you're just trying to bring the chest forward. But you're not coming too high with the back leg. Good, lovely birds everybody, really nice. Good, come back to centre. Give yourself a little thumbs up. We're actually going to do that one more time because I've got some more to do and Milo's desperate to see you try this one. Okay, this one, shoulders. So think about where your shoulders are. This part needs to be on the floor, on the mat or on your towel. So, start by lying down on your backs. And now, we've already done it. Lying down, we are definitely having our shoulders on the floor. But you can make it harder. You could push your hips up, so your tummy is going up. Imagine there's a piece of string here pulling you up by your belly button. Good. This is a really good one where our shoulders are on the mat. Or... Bring your hips down, bottom on the floor. You can take your legs up too. Good. Now this is a good one for back. Some of us that are older, or if our adults help us, we can come to our shoulder stand. So our hands come to our back, and then we come up. So now you're more on your shoulders and your arms and your head. A bit like a triangle. And then we can point our toes. But even if you're here, you can still do the toe pointing. And you just keep looking at your toes. Good. Let's rock and roll back up. Hands behind the knees. One. Let's do three. Two. And three. Come up. Amazing. Well done, everybody. Really nice. Okay. I've got a feeling that I might have gone offline again for a second, but hopefully not. Hopefully we'll be back in action again in a second. Anybody give me a little emoji? There we go, we're back again. Sorry, I don't know what's happening with my internet. Let's just power through. Awesome. Okay, we are going to do our sun salutation song now. So we need to stand in our mountain pose so when we sat down before that was like an actual mountain this one is just the name the name is mountain pose and to do that you stand at the front of your mat facing me feet together arms down by the sides push those shoulders down good and that's our mountain pose let's get ready to start inhale breathe in look up at the thumbs Breathe out, come down and tickle the toes. Hands on the floor, jump back like a bunny rabbit to surfboard and come down onto your tummy. Don't worry if you've missed a bit, we'll do the same again in a minute. Look up, seal, tuck the toes, hips high, downward dog. So your bottom's in the air, look at the hands, get ready to jump forwards. And stand up in your mountain again. Ready? Stretch up high, look up at the thumbs. Come down and tickle your toes, touch your feet. Jump back to plank or surfboard. Come on to the tummies. Look up. And tuck 
Tuck the toes, hips high down with dog. Breathe in here. Breathe. Good. Ready? Bend the knees. Let's jump forward. And tickle your toes again. Stretch up high. Feeling really stretchy and strong. Arms down. Lovely. Well done. Lift your arms up. Look up. Let's come down. Tickle the toes. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Jump back to plank and come down onto your tummies. Look forward, seal pose. Down with dog, hips high. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Lovely. Ready? Jump forward. Tickle your toes. Stretch up high. And arms down. Beautiful. Last time. Breathe in, arms up. Breathe out, arms come down. Jump back to your plank or surfboard and come onto your tummy. Look forwards and tuck the toes, bottom in the air, downward facing dog. Good. Deep breaths here. Breathe. Good. And when we are ready, let's get ready to jump forwards and stand up. Arms up. Good. Give yourself a clap, everybody. Well done. Amazing. Really nice. I'm just going to see if I can just do 3G the whole time. No. I don't know what's going on today. Sorry, everybody. It's on and off. Um, but the recording will be on the page and on the YouTube page for Better Together Dorset and on my YouTube page. So don't panic if you lose some of it today. Good. Let's do our challenge. We're going to do tree pose. So thank you for bearing with me, everybody. Tree pose. So there's three different levels. So let's all do level one. So, standing on your foot, let's choose which one. Let's start with our left foot first. We're going to stand on that one. Bring your right knee up and then place the foot on the edge, on the outer edge of the standing leg. Maybe on the ankle and turn this hip outward. Good. Well done. Ready? And then we bring the hands into centre. Good. And then we can just stay here. Or you might try and challenge yourself more by taking the hands up, opening the branches of your tree. Good. Level two, from here you bring the foot just below the knee joint. So we don't put the foot on the knee because that's bad for the knees and the knees are really important. Good. Level three, use the hand to bring the foot up higher. That knee can stay out nice and wide. Good. And then we breathe here. Breathing in. Breathing out. In. Out. And slowly come down and, oh, jiggle out your legs. Oh, fizzle, fizzle, fizzle. Good. Amazing. Let's come to the other foot now. So... This time, it's your right leg that's grounded. That's right. <laughs> Good. No, all the way around. Good. So, hands in centre. Place your foot on your ankle to start with. And that hip going out nice and wide. Look at something on the floor to keep looking, staring at. Almost like you're imagining it's your favourite Easter egg on the floor. And you've got to keep watching it so nobody takes it. Good, explore the arms as well. And then maybe try level two if you want to, but just remember not to put the foot on the knee. And remember that sometimes things don't work how we want and that's okay, that's fine. Just try it and then don't worry if it doesn't work today. Level three, you can bring the foot up higher. 
older ones especially. Lovely. Beautiful. Keep breathing. Keep looking at that Easter egg on the floor. Don't let anyone take it. Arms down. Foot down. And jiggle it out. Ooh, well done, everybody. Amazing. Okay, right. I wanted to just come and go through with you one last thing. So come and sit in your... Oh, let's sit in butterfly. Can you come and sit on your bottoms, feet together, knees are wide in butterfly pose. We do like this song and we love this pose too. Good. So Ali, Ali's going to do it too so you can see. Knees apart, feet together. And then we can flap our butterfly wings as well. So this is how you can sit when we do our next part if you want to, or you can just sit in our mountain sitting pose that we did with our knees out wide. I've got some affirmations to do with you before we finish today. So these are really positive things to help you with your, um, with your day. So we've got two today. We've got number one, today I will be powerful like fire. And I'll explain that a bit more in a minute. We've got a story to go with that. We'll explain it even better. And the other one is today I will float like a cloud. So we've got two affirmations today. So when it says that you're going to be powerful like fire, it doesn't mean say you're going to be strong and you're going to go around and be really muscly and strong. What it means by powerful is that you are going to be very strong inside, being able to control how you're feeling. So when you think that you're upset about something, you're going to be powerful in the mind to be able to take a deep breath in and just let it go. Good, okay? So being powerful doesn't mean to say that I'm the strongest person. Being powerful is how strong you are with your thoughts. So knowing your thoughts and being able to control them and not lashing out and not being mean or saying unkind words. Being powerful is being able to control your thoughts so that they're happy ones. And I'll explain a bit more about that in our ending story. And float like a cloud. So that one means that if you do have things around you that are making you feel a bit sad or not happy, you can imagine that you are on a cloud floating above what's going on around you. So you can just imagine, we did the floating cloud on, I think the family yoga on Saturday. It was a really nice mindfulness. So you can just imagine, you can close your eyes and you can imagine that you're on this beautiful, fluffy, soft cotton cloud and you're floating above anything that's happening that you don't want to listen to or you, that's making you feel sad. So those two are the two things. And for the last part of our yoga today, really important part, I'm going to read you a little story and all you have to do is lie down with your eyes closed. And this is really going to help you feel really, really happy. Because there's a lot going on at the moment. Some things we don't understand, and that's okay. Sometimes we don't know everything. But we do know that we're safe. And we've got our families, and we've got our home. And hope maybe some of us have got gardens as well. So those are the main things to remember. And I'm going to help you with this story that's going to help you to be able to help be powerful with your mind and so that you can float like a cloud. So I want you just to imagine to first lie down on your back. So just come to lie down. If you've got a little cushion or a pillow or a little blanket, you can lie down with that as well. If you've got a teddy bear that you want to hug, you can do that too. So I'm just going to give you a few seconds to come and lie down so that you're really comfy, so that you'll be able to close your eyes. So getting nice and comfy. I'm going to put some nice music on as well. Just quietly. 
So when you're ready, lying down, maybe on your back if you can, lying down. And just when you're ready, close the eyes and become really still. Become aware of your breathing as you breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Now imagine that you are in your own bubble of power. This is a very safe place. In this bubble of power, you are safe and you are protected. It is also a special place in this bubble of power where you can come to build strength and power. It only takes a few moments to build up enough power to last a really long time and can help you manage lots of feelings and situations. Lie comfortably in your bubble of power around you. How does it feel? Do you feel safe? This is your personal space. No one else can enter into this bubble of power. It is your bubble of power. It's a private place. It's a place for you to be alone and to build your own personal strength. Taking a deep breath of strength and power and breathe out strength and power. Fill your bubble of power with so much love and strength. Feel yourself surrounded with this power. It feels warm, like a blanket wrapped around you in this bubble. You feel strong from the inside. Every part of your body feels strong. Feel brave and feel strong. Feel this power in your mind. You know that when you are breathing in with your silent power breaths, you are inside the bubble and you feel safe. Unkind words and actions from other people cannot touch you. Repeat to yourself, I am strong and powerful. I am strong and powerful. Continue to breathe in and breathe out nice and deeply. Take a nice breath in and open the mouth, breathe out. <sighs> Building your strength and your power in your bubble of power. Breathe in, power, Breathe out strength. <sighs> Breathe in power. Breathe out strength. <sighs> How do you feel now in your bubble of power? Keep your eyes closed. Today I will be powerful like fire. Today I will float like a cloud. Today I will be powerful like a fire. Today I will float like a cloud. Everybody take a deep breath in. Smile and sigh out. <sighs> Breathe in deeply. Smiling, smiling, smiling. And sigh out. <sighs> Move your fingers and toes. Move your hands and feet. Breathe in, stretch the arms up above your head. And then hug the knees into the chest and rock from side to side. And then let's rock and roll up. So knees, hands behind the knees and rock up. One, two, 
And last one, three, come and sit up. Good, at the end of yoga, we finish with a namaste. So to namaste, let's bring our hands by our heart together. And then we bow our head down, placing the thumbs in between your eyebrows. Namaste, everybody. Namaste. Thank you so 